Hello there, and welcome to chapter 9 of my Crestorio 2 playthrough. So, we were last time at our fledgling base, building things like automation cores and invisible electronic circuits. I need to expand my radars. Um, so, I wanted to build my military complex last time, and I realized that for military, uh, I'm lacking coal. And uh, some kind person pointed out that uh, I could uh, also power my uh, steam generators with wood since I have the uh, greenhouses right there around the corner and uh, right now I'm using coals and then it all suddenly became clear to me that uh, the wood production would be my solution for the coal pro uh, problem in general because when I use uh, wood further on for um, the uh, power generation that coal line frees up for my military complex and uh, problem solved so that's what we're gonna do today um, I guess I will manage to nail down the military assemblers and uh, relay the coal and set up the wood production and maybe, only maybe, I don't know if the time will be sufficient, I'll set up the mining operation down here at that patch because that's my next bigger uh, plan. So bear with me my friends, we're gonna do some uh, production now. Um, I need to check out how does this stuff work. Um, we have 0 0.1, no. Need this. Um, these thingies they use 13 water per second. I need to check out the ratios, you know. So this stuff w produces what? Oh, where's the production rate of the pump? So it's pumping 1,200 units of water per second. So <laughs> there's absolutely no reason to uh, be worried about that unless I uh, complete this array well the perfectionist in me wants to do this so I'm gonna do this um, I don't want uh, the greenhouses connected to uh, the same offshore pump as my uh, energy complex out of a simple reason when I put this up now or forgot about this one I already had another so when I put a, put down a uh, offshore pump on this side I know further on that I can use this water supply for whatever it's like gonna be my uh, basic water supply when I need something for whatever reasons and uh, further on I will disconnect uh, and discontinue this uh, pipe once I connect the whole thing um, I also realize that I'm not having enough pipes, so logistics, where are the pipes at? There are the pipes at. So, a little bit more of the handcrafting yet still. Gotta say, uh, <laughs> Crestario really strains me a little here at this point. Because uh, lately I was uh, going for some other mods off camera, experimenting a little bit here and there, and I realized how heavy uh, it is in the long run that uh, every iron plate is uh, double the cost of vanilla. Like you're using two iron ore per uh, iron plate here, so it's pretty, uh, pretty hefty. <laughs> And, uh, well, a production time of over uh, well, 3.2 seconds, I think that's pretty normal, but uh, the double amount of uh, ore needed in here is something I really start to feel the longer I play uh, this mod. It's not, an, it's not a bad thing in itself, but uh, things progress a lot slower in Crestorio than uh, I'm used to in Vanilla Place. So let's check. This place should now have still access to water, uh, kind of like once I connect that pump to power. Okay, that should work as before because uh, these uh, are interchanging themselves with water. Okay, so I don't have a clue how much uh, burning. Uh, power these need per second well let's see if I can 
figure it out somehow. Um, one boiler, one fuel, one megawatt. Is there any, uh, well, one megajoule, uh, and how does that translate? Well, I guess some smart people out there uh, would know how to calculate that, but I sadly don't. But feel free to enlighten me, so, because I, I see here only how much megawatt uh, fuel consumption this boiler has, but, uh, well, how much megajoule is one megawatt? I don't know. I never uh, figure, uh, I never tried to figure that one out. I, uh, most of the time, just uh, try to overproduce as heavy as I can. That's my pro um, approach to that problem. So, I'm figuring that this whole uh, swing and is in my... is not really necessary anymore, so let's uh, dismantle this. Um, I'm gonna dismantle the research part now, because I feel like... Uh, I can now live without uh, the production of uh, science for a while. Like, I'll, I'll survive until I have a proper lab installed. And I want to expand the greenhousing in this direction and, uh, well, there's no room for this stuff anymore, I'm sorry. So we have to relay these things a little, but uh, today is the day I deconstruct my my laboratories and everything. I'm gonna pack up my things and go. So, absorb a few of these things and uh, disconnect this a little. Oh, well, I hope I didn't disconnect anything important right now. I see them suffering any blackouts. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Oh well. Always get the, the inserters first. Keep forgetting that. Okay. We're gonna return to science once uh, I am able to build a uh, larger scale operation. Like this small scale laboratory complex is. It's okay for the beginning, but uh, for the bigger projects coming up, I want uh, more resources. So I guess I'm gonna store all these tech cards right there in the shelter. So I guess that's a smart thing to do because I don't want to throw that stuff away. It's gonna be useful later. Oh, and thou, those pickaxe upgrades sure come in handy now. Look at them go. I don't like it when things get undone so quickly. This is progress, friends. Like a few episodes ago. It would have taken a lot longer for that. So... There we go. This also means that I can uh, dismantle this whole intermediate uh, product facility as well. I don't need all this stuff anymore. So, that's that. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep... Uh, this part with the inserters for now because that sure comes in handy in the long run so uh, how does this place come together I just want to take care that I don't accidentally dismantle something I still want to use I mean I had one uh, red card factory that didn't work at all as someone pointed out I didn't notice that, so thanks for that one, but uh, I gotta or, uh, also say I didn't pay too much uh, close attention to that starter lab. It, had, it just had to work somehow. I tend to get sloppy <laughs> in these circumstances, but that's okay. So let's uh, get rid of all these tech cards, because honestly I don't need them for now. They are fulfilling no purpose, so... I might as well dump them, so let's think about the rest. I don't need those laboratories, the sand, the crusher. Stuff I'll need later, perhaps. Coke? Well, wow, what a fuel value. Nice. Okay. Well, it's uh, <laughs> the best of two worlds. Wooden uh, coal combined. Okay, apart from that, my inventory is quite full. 
But I think those are more or less all important things. So, uh, wait a sec. I, I'm not comfortable with this loud uh, music. Okay. So there we go. Next off, um, I need a uh, replacement for this uh, coal supply. So my plan is to just expand the wood production to a level which uh, feels, uh, well, how to put it, just large enough to fulfill my uh, plans. So I want to get rid of that coal immediately. I don't want to have that cramming up my inventory right now. Alright. I mean, expanding this place should be quite easy, um, considering how everything is set up. Uh, I need to replace the uh, radar, though. So there's no place for the radar right there. So uh, put it down here for now. I feel like this could be a spot where it can remain for a while. Okay. Then next off, I need to replace. Well, can we connect it somewhere like this? Okay. I need to uh, dismantle this a little bit more thoroughly before I start constructing somewhere else. I guess I'm gonna leave my shelter here. This uh, should work out without any problems. Okay. So, I guess I'm gonna leave this uh, part of the operation running for now. I don't, I don't think, I think I could dismantle the electronic circuits, but uh, I'm not entirely sure of that yet, and I'm too lazy to think about it more thoroughly right now, honestly. So, uh, that's that. Um, here's this little uh, rifle bullet factory, but uh, I don't care about it anymore either. I don't need it too much, honestly. And this is the one coal line I wanted to uh, procure out of all this. So um, let's uh, put it a little bit more prominently over here, and uh, I'm gonna drop down some lights there. Um, I just do this for myself so I don't forget it later. Um, it's like a, a little marker to myself, the place where the two lights is the uh, coal line I wanted to have, because we're not done with the, with the wood production here yet. Um, I can produce eight more greenhouses, perfect. Okay, was a concern for a moment that I don't have enough glass, but I still seem to have a sufficient stock of those. I think glass production is something I should set up at some point as well. I uh, kind of lost that uh, out of my sights because it's pretty new to me to have uh, wood uh, glass as a management uh, resource. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I want to get rid of a little bit of that wood. So much in my inventory. Okay, 500 is okay. Copper plates. Uh, always uh, try to find places where I can get rid of things. Like, for example, this place is wonderful. But it already has 200 copper plates for me. Hmm. You could invest uh, copper plates into rifle mags. But these need also other stuff. Oh, well. Just a. Uh, trying to fill my time a little until uh, the greenhouses are up. Because um, my basic idea was to do some cluster like this. It's a uh, it's pretty simple, but I think simple should work. Um, so I just hope that uh, the inserters don't mess me up now. Oh, but they could. My some 
voice in my head says I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Let's check it out if it works or not. I mean, I can uh, bring those logs on the other side of the belt ne if necessary. No problem. It's no witchcraft. It's just some change at the splitter over there. There we go. Gotta admit, when I saw Factorio the first time, uh, all this belt management was the thing that uh, scared me the most about this game. <laughs> I, uh, I saw all this belt management and it felt like it's so damn complicated. I'll never get this uh, done. I'll never understand it. Honestly, I felt like that. But, uh, well, over the time, I, I got the grip of it. Okay, this uh, will take uh, some time until the wood is grown, so we're gonna wait a moment until that stuff works out. Okay. Is this guy... Wait a sec, what's happening there? Why are they turning so damn slow? Can somebody understand what ha what's happening here? Why are these inserters working in slow motion? <laughs> what's wrong with them? Is my electricity low? Yeah, that's what's happening. Of course. Okay. So, uh, turns out I never uh, watched what happens uh, when the electricity runs low more closely. So, <laughs> I usually uh, keep electricity flows running. And, uh, okay, there we go. This should solve the problem. And uh, connecting those is helpful too. Uh, there was the problem. All right, let's go. And there we go. Okay. I was so focused on those uh, greenhouses that I did not see the obvious anymore. Oh well, Factorio problems. It's like uh, looking for your uh, glasses while you're wearing them. Okay. So, uh, well, that won't show me at all if I did the belt assortment right, but uh, well, whatever. What am I doing here anyways with the wood and everything? <laughs> what is this? Um... Is this all necessary and does it work? I mean, I want to see, yeah. So that that's that's the first thing I don't want to see happening. <laughs> okay, we have to bring that on a different belt. So If I uh just meet it like no. Let's do a, let's do a T. I think that's ju just, no, that's exactly the wrong thing. I need to do the T other on the other way around. Okay, some little trick to bring the uh, wood uh, on the side I want it to have. Like, let's absorb that for a sec because this is the wrong way around. And also let's put in a splitter here. Or do I need a splitter? Nah, this should be okay. I just watch it if I need to uh, balance it later or not. So, um, basic idea. I'll try if these four will be okay to feed that beast and these four export the wood in the same time while they're feeding their axis over to this area. That's my idea. Let's see how, if it were, uh, how good it'll work out. So, uh, to get things going like this, I want to do, well, I do have a split off here already. Okay, also, 
what about what's happening here? Um, this is the uh, su supply for uh, this uh, little bit redundant place and also the supply for the smelter array. This is something I still need. So uh, we're gonna be... Um, actually... splitting it off here. I'm gonna do something like this. So there we go. Because I still need to feed uh, the coke production line. Okay, so let's check. I have these greenhouses here doing some export as well. These greenhouses exclusively deliver to the steam plants. And I'm pretty sure that this is not enough wood at all to uh, feed all my purposes. So what I'm going to do is I have still four greenhouses in my inventory. I'm going to lay them down well or i'm gonna lay them down does this offshore pump need to live here i think i need to replace my water supply a little bit this uh this doesn't look pretty good to me oh sure let's do it like this why didn't i come up with this idea in the first place that's the most easy way to do it of course I just connect two of them, so there's a sufficient large uh, supply of water for the whole complex. Boom, problem done, uh, problem solved. <laughs> so that's that. Um, I'll need... Ooh. Can I cross that gap? Yes, I could, but uh, I can't split it off then. Uh... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Does it have to be like this? <laughs> okay. I know what I'm doing. I have an idea. There's always a solution in Victorio, remember. Okay, we're just gonna... Oh, I have actually space for that. Okay, I'm not gonna do it like this. I just want to have an output for water because if it, if I understand all of this correctly, water should flow through this as well. If not, yeah, we're gonna. Do something like this. That's all I wanted to achieve can't build up a third one because that spot's blocked by the uh, smelter array, but that's okay for me. So they all have power now. And there we go. So I hope this is gonna be enough wood for uh, my overall needs. I just wanted to expand it uh, for the future because uh, I have this electronic circuit production down there in mind and uh, something tells me we're going to need more wood than that. And uh, I think I'm going to later on expand my wood production into this direction as well. But for now I wanted a hotfix to have some uh, larger amounts of uh, production going on. But obviously... They are not sharing the water. Why are they not sharing the water? So obviously this doesn't work out as I had it in mind. Okay. But I am able to do a little thing like this. So that's okay. Alright. Just needed to get the uh, water connection to the other side. Possibly gonna landfill this area a little bit to make it a little bit less uh, complicated to work around here. Okay, that's done. So uh, I've already managed my first goal. This 
complex is now running on wood. Oh, and uh, that's the new update that went live today. This uh, looks a little bit uh, differently than before. Oh, we can finally see our maximum production. <laughs> Cheers. Bless you. I always wanted to see that. Awesome. Okay, we now can see we're way below our maximum production, so that's fine. And now, what about the colds? Um, I don't want to uh, expand this too much right now. Maybe I should. But, oh, well, whatever. I'm going to run the coal uh, somewhere up there. I have something in mind. So let's remove those lights. And let's try to do it like this. There's going to be a lot of belts involved, so I'm going to grab a few more to get this production thingy back in motion. Because I will take the coal for a long ride here, I guess. I guess. Um, no, I'm going to pull it over here. So there we go. For now, I'm going to lay it around here. So uh, I want to divide the uh, material flows into uh, two sections. I don't want to have everything on one strain. I don't know. It's pretty hard to organize that uh, beforehand. So uh, there we are. I have now a wonderful little line of coal. Let's uh, pull it through here. Okay, that's everything I need. We can finally do military. Awesome. Okay. Let's uh, go for some stones first. So where do I want to live here? Oh, well, I guess uh, the military will live right next to the uh, intermediate products. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space between these. I like that. Overall, I guess this will be what I have in mind, roughly. So these are only sketches, basically. Uh, I never uh, try to draw um, a precise shape of my production area. It's just some... I've seen a lot of people use map markers. I'm not a big fan of those uh, yet. Maybe I'll get there one day, but uh, well, it's more like what I want to do. So I'm going to chop some of this wood. Don't want to hand grenade it. Okay, so what will we need for all of this? I'll just check the clock. I'll never be able to get to that iron patch today, but that's okay. So. We need rifle magazines, armor piercing magazines. I don't want to do armor. Uh, well, let's produce a heavy armor for ourselves. I want to do gun turrets. So, okay. I need to funnel a lot of different uh, production lines uh, over here. So, okay. Let's check it out. Um, I have this place being connected with iron already, so I'm gonna split off something from here and uh, lay it over there. And let's mix it uh, for now again over here, just to keep the flow even for now. I know that I will need to uh, optimize that later on as well. Okay, then I need copper as well, so let's get that from here as well. Let's get that under the hood. I need steel, so it's another thing I'm gonna split off. There we go. 
Oopsie. Oh. That's what I had in mind. So what's left? Uh, automation cores I need. Iron gear wheels. Well, possibly going to produce those on site. Let's see. Um, so automation cores. It's the first mission for this facility. Lovely. Um, I'm going to split it off here. Hood 1. Hood 2. There we go. Automation course. Okay, so what's left? Coal is coming from the top side. Coal, iron plate, copper plate. Um, that's everything. That's coal and iron plate. So I could get some iron beams from the other facility over there. So why not do that? I mean, that's why I uh, built that place, in, uh, didn't I? So, we're gonna do something like this. And, like, uh, I wanna say that this is now the uh, stream for iron beams. Let's go. Wow. That nasty little pond. <laughs> Because iron beams are something you you need a lot to in Crestorio, I've already figured. So let's uh, draw one lane for that exclusive really right over there. Okay. So I have iron beams now. Uh, we would need stone bricks as well. We would need electronic circuits for the radars, but. Uh, I don't want to mass produce radars. I see people doing this, and I understand it as a uh, in a term of a in a sense of completionism, uh, completion, completionism, <laughs> difficult word. But uh, I don't need so many of those. I can uh, build them when I need them. What I do want, though, is a uh, big amount of rifle magazine production. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna drop down a uh, assembler and I'm gonna analyze it with this. So I will need three different inputs from here. Well, Seems like I should mix it from some uh, to um, to some degree. So let's check out the uh, next one. So I want to do um, the armor piercing ammo. I, I uh, lay these together so I can see uh, what similarities we have. So overall, I will need uh, rifle magazines also as a protection material. So, this looks like I just need to connect the uh, dots in a simple way. So we need uh, coal and iron plates for the grenades as well. For anti-material rifles, I don't want to mass produce this ammo either. So uh, one input will suffice as well and it's using I just noticed that uh, most of these ammos use similar materials. I don't know if I really want to have a pistol magazine like ever, but well, okay. So I need more bricks. I can't do this without bricks. Don't ask me why I need them. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna uh, try to set up a uh, cluster which uh, remains expandable just like I did it uh, before. Because I can't uh, really tell if I will uh, go for um, some kind of, uh, how to put it, um, full supply chain uh, gun turret complex uh, or not. So 
I want to keep that option open and if I would do that I would need stupendous amounts of production capacity. So I'll uh, try to cluster up the ammunition production in a expansive way and the other things in a more singular way because I feel like they are right now... I don't think that I'll need dozens and dozens of uh, radar panels all of a sudden except for technology. We're gonna see. Maybe I have to rethink that at some point. Okay. Whatever might be the reason, I will need stupendous amounts of coal. So uh, I'll split that off right here. So there we go. I just leave that coal line open and just in case I will need it later on. I don't know that yet. So we're going to drop down assembler here. So let's uh, do the uh, calculations again. I just want to see for a moment how many... Uh... So one of these things needs one... Okay, so uh, one of those factories feeds six of those rat factories. Do I want to do six rat factories? Do I really want to do that? Let's see. Well, I want to do that. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Um, for the rat factory, I will need an input of coal, iron plates, and copper plates. So... Hmm. I'm just wondering how I will do it the most efficient way. But I think I'll actually do it something like this. expensive uh, gear for that. Okay. So what does our friend the Red Factory need now? Because uh, that's the more interesting part. So we need uh, steel and those yellow thingies. That's all wonderful. So I'm gonna do something like this. But I'm gonna roll it over here. Yeah, let's do it like that. So uh, I'm gonna output my yellow ammo on this side. It needs copper plates, so oh, then I have the rotation the wrong side. Okay. So there we go. And now I'll just take that steel and let it meet. here onto this lane and that's gonna feed a lot of uh, other red factories so let's see if that checks out two four and five and six. I have a hard time imagining that this is really working out as intended, but uh, we're gonna try. The tool will tell me uh, if I was wrong somewhere. So let's check. Oh, I uh, I actually misread that one. I was already surprised about that. You already figured, probably. So I can, uh, well. 
But that's no problem. That's no problem at all. So I'll need to expand this a little bit more. Alright, so let's see what happens if I put two of them together. Three of them? Okay, so that's the ratio. Two yellows feed three reds, so that's the uh, that's the magic here. That's how we want to build it. Sorry, sometimes things take a moment to be figured out. That's how it works. Okay. But I'm very sorry that I left you guys so long uh, in silence with my thinking process. So, uh, how to output in this scenario? I think the best way would be to output with long-handed inserters towards this direction. So I'll have uh, the magazines on uh, this uh, side of the belt. I, keep, I try to keep in mind that I need to do a design which will... Uh, which needs to be expandable. Like, I want to do something which uh, I can make bigger if necessary. So, I need to keep in mind that uh, certain things have to work. Okay. Maybe there's a flaw in my design somewhere, but uh, maybe we can fix that one out later, but uh, there we go. So I will uh, output happily over here. So bear with me for a moment, my friends, bear with me for a moment longer. So I'm gonna input right next to here. So, go, input, output, done. All right. So, let's see how good this checks out. Okay, I have everything every machine needs. And we're producing red ammo, don't we? Okay, good. So I just need some way to fiddle uh, the uh, supply belts past the red uh, clusters and then I can duplicate this uh, in this direction another time if I need more red ammo. But uh, for now I think this is enough. I think this is just enough for the moment. So. Uh, I think also that uh, miss that that the time on this episode is uh, already getting a little bit uh, short, so we're just gonna set up a little uh, gun turret production, and then I'm gonna call it off for today. So I need iron gear, wheels, and iron beams, and automation cores. Okay. Just make this episode a little bit longer because honestly I feel like uh, once I have these two production cycles done I have all the stuff in uh, in motion I really need so let's check I figured that I want to produce those iron gear wheels on site because uh, I don't know it just feels like um, too much work to transport them over there so uh, am I right about that one iron gear wheel factory will feed, uh, oops, yeah, so I'll need one iron gear wheel factory for five gun turret factories, so 
Yeah, well, maybe I want to cycle a few of those over there, but no. So that means I'm going to do something like this. Um, I'm going to split off the uh, iron plates from here. Because I certainly don't want uh, to, be, to be anywhere near close to the ammo production here. Because this is a completely different department. So um, I'll need one assembler just spitting out uh, iron gear wheels. I don't know where that's going to live uh, for now, but uh, that's okay. So what do I need for the gun turrets next? Um, iron beams and automation cores. And uh, Okay. So I figure these automation cores can just uh, run over there. Because no problem at all. They are the only... Uh, the gun turrets seem to be the only consumers of uh, automation cores in this facility, so can let that entire uh, belt run over there. So that's that, and we need iron beams, and uh, that's something I'll just uh, take from up here. Most of the things I do look uh, or build here look a little bit more um, too big or unnecessary, but I, I like to have the capacity to stay expensive, you know. Also, I want to have this on both sides of the belt. It does annoy me a little. Okay. So let's check. How much input per second does this stuff need? This really needs not much of everything. So possibly I want to uh, do something like this. Yeah, we're going to do it like that. So I'm going to do uh, one assembler here, right next to the entrance. And I'm going to do something over here. Um. Hope I did it right now. I want to merge the uh, iron gear wheels and the uh, automation course immediately here because uh, I don't need that much uh, stuff for this uh, production facility here. So let's check the going to be output on that. I had it right this time. Awesome. Sometimes my brain works as I want it to do. Most of the time it does that. Automation cores down to this side and now we're going to do it like this and we're going to have a solid and uh, well-ordered input for this little thingy. Oh, well, you know what? We're just gonna do a loader. Whatever. So, might as well just do a loader here as well. But, uh... This is only because I just do one of these, uh... facilities yet. Don't think that these loaders are, uh, a long-term thing, I just installed them because I think they're so damn cool. Really, I like them. No. Jokes aside, if I want to do a long-term production of these uh, um, gun turrets in a bigger scale, especially, I want to do it... Uh, I wouldn't do it with loaders, I would do inserters. But uh, I just wanted to get things now done in a fancy way. So let's check. There we go. Gun turrets are getting produced. Ammo is getting produced, and uh, that's a start, right? Um, I could do more of all of this, but uh, honestly, I don't see myself having the resources for that at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's the episode for now. We have military up. I have uh, set up a new sort of... Uh, 
ways. <laughs> We're not gonna rev it up here. <laughs> What's happening? Looks like the inserters are not uh, fast enough. Looks like they're not getting uh, the work done here. So as you can see, working with wood has its own uh, difficulties. So I'm gonna drop down like this. So there we go. Looks like uh, these need a lot more input than before. So <laughs> let's get back into the text. Uh, we, we switched over to wood uh, instead of coal. <laughs> and uh, I did a little bit of military magic. So right now I'm producing ammo and... Uh, gun turrets in a bigger scale. I'm not uh, stockpiling yellow ammo. I could, but I want to have my turrets uh, loaded with good ammo. Okay, guys. So, uh, feel free to leave me comments below. Feel free to leave me some thumbs up or even a subscription to my channel if you want to support me and my work. If none of those, just let me thank you for bearing with me in this long episode where we get things finally going. So, Thanks for being with me. I hope you're going to join for the next episode when we get more things done. Until then, stay, stay healthy and see you next time. Bye-bye.